The strong winds across southern Colorado really made travel challenging for some drivers this afternoon and this evening. Our Jessica Barreto spoke with some of those drivers. She's here to tell us uh, what they told her. Jessica? Well, they told me the winds, which range from 30 to 45 miles per hour, forced them to take it a little slower and be hyper aware of their surroundings to avoid a worst case scenario. High winds kicked up across southern Colorado, forcing CDOT to issue a high wind warning in El Paso, Pueblo, Teller, and Fremont County. CDOT asking drivers of high profile vehicles like semi trucks to be cautious. The driver behind this truck tells me it's easy to see why. I felt the whole side of the truck lift up. My, I'm empty right now and I could definitely feel it. Yep, so if you're going to be going over these passes, you definitely got to be careful. And when sharing the road with other cars, they have to be careful too. The little cars that are the victims, you know, because they don't realize that sometimes you will get blown to the side and you will go over a lane. But the family in this minivan says they do realize it and think about it all the time. Like I told them, like there's like a big truck selling so move lanes. Like so we're trying to like stay away from them. They traveled here from Keystone Ski Resort where the wind wasn't the only problem. Really bad, like the wind and the ice. We couldn't see because of the snow. It started snow. We couldn't see anything. At least here, east of the Rampart Range, the gusts didn't knock down anyone's travel plans. Everything's great. By 8 o'clock, CDOT had lifted those high wind warnings. The good news, you won't see much high wind tomorrow, with winds maxing out at 30 miles per hour. Always watching out for you, Southern Colorado, Jessica Barreto, News 5.